Hello and thank you for watching. This is Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and this is a warm-up intermediate level in the key of C major. This is based upon the MTNA music literacy program. So if you are in the United States and you are participating in this this year with your teacher, you can use this video and the others like it to prepare for your exam. This is based on level four. We're gonna have six different skills that we cover in this video. So we're gonna get started with a one octave scale in the key of C major. No flats or sharps. Fingering is gonna be what I call standard fingering. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're gonna do right hand, left hand together for the scale. So let's get started. And I wanna just point out when you're playing scales, notice where your fingers are touching on the key. So for one, two, three, like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, it's more like a half moon, all right? So here we go, bounce up and down on every note if you can. Play it nice and forte, ready, and. Right hand thumb under. Back down. Cross. Okay, left hand, same thing. Get all the way to your thumb and then cross with three. Ready, go. together. I tell my students all the time when we're playing hands together with basic standard fingering, something is always happening on three. So pay attention to who is crossing under or who is crossing over when we get to finger three. Here we go. Right hand under. Left hand over. Back down. Left hand under. Section two, these are called primary chords. Primary chords are kind of the important chords in a scale. And so when we're figuring out chords and harmonies, we use the notes of the scale and we just march up the scale and you can hear all those harmonies. So some of the most important chords are the primary chords. So those are the chords on the first note of the scale, fourth note of the scale, and fifth note of the scale. So we call those the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. So in the key of C, we're going to have a C major chord, then we're gonna move up to an F major chord, and then we're gonna to move to a G major chord. Let's do the same thing with the left hand. It's gonna feel a little bit different because you have finger five on the bottom. So C major, one chord, F major, four chord, G major, five chord. Let's do that together. All right, part three. In this section, we're gonna practice what are called chord inversions. Or one of the ways I like to explain chord inversions is imagine that you are making a cake or something and you have three ingredients. Your ingredients are sugar, eggs, and flour, okay? So sometimes we put the sugar in first, the egg second, and the flour, but not always. Sometimes we might put the eggs first, flour, and then put the sugar and last, we might do flour, sugar, eggs. So you can create the same thing, but maybe do it in a different order. So the important thing about the inversions is you need to really lock in the fingering. So the fingering for the root position is one, three, five, right hand. First inversion, one, two, five. Then the next one, again, we have one, three, five. And then finally, and back down, five, three, one, five, three, one, five, two, one, five, three, one. So let me do that without talking. I'll just say the inversion. So we have root, first, second, root, root, second, first, root. When you go to the right, root, first, second. When you go to the left, you skip right to the second. Okay, left hand, fingering is a little bit different. So we have five, three, one for root. Then we're gonna put that C on top. Five, three, one for first inversion. Then we're gonna put this E on top. 
five, two, one, second inversion. Then we're going to go back to root, put G on the top. So root, first, second, root. So when we put hands together, just remember they're almost all five, three, one, except for one of them. So five, three, one to start. Now right hand is going to have five, two, one. Now left hand's going to have five, two, one. Now they're both going to have five, three, one. Five, three, one. Left hand goes first with finger two. Then we switch to right hand with finger two. And then five, three, one. Okay, part four. Now we are going to have a chord progression. A chord progression is chords that are going in a certain order. And so the order that we're going to do is one, four, one, five, seven, one. In level three, we already did one, five, seven, one. So all we're adding to this is one, four, one. And what we're doing is we're taking the one chord and the four chord, and we're putting them kind of close together because this is kind of lots of jumping if you play it that way. So what we try to do is look for notes that both chords have. See how they both have a C, even though the four chord, the C is on the top. So we just did those inversions. So we're going to try to find the inversion of this that has the C on the bottom. So is it reposition? No. Is it first inversion? No. Is it second inversion? Yes. So we're going to go from the one chord, the C chord, we're going to keep that C on the bottom. We're going to move the middle note up a half step and the top note up a whole step to get that second inversion four chord and move those back. By the way, I would use fingers one, three, five, one, three, five. So you're scooting. Then as we already know, we're going to scoot the thumb down a half step. In this case, it's going to a white key, which feels different than the other keys. And then finger four, is gonna play that five, seven chord back one. One, C major, up to four, F major, back down to one, C major. Now we're gonna leave finger two out of it, play finger four and scoot the thumb down. Five, seven, and back to one. Let's do that with the left hand because it feels a little bit different. Left hand, when we scoot up to F, we're gonna just play finger two and scoot the thumb to F, back down to our one chord, and as we already know, the pinky is going to go down a half step, white key in this case, and then you're going to play finger two, and back to one. Let's do that together. Right hand's going to move two fingers, left hand's just going to scoot the thumb and play finger two. Feels different between the hands. Then we go back to one, three, five, our one chord. Bottom notes are going to scoot down a half step to that other white key. We play two and four. And then back to our one chord, C major. Here we go. One, four, one, five, seven, one. Part five of our warm up. We're going to play a one handed arpeggio, our tonic chord, which is C major. And we're going to just stretch it out. So it's going to be C chord notes, and then we're going to play another C at the top. So the fingering is going to be one, two, three. Five, three, two, one. Do you notice how my hand is pivoting? I'm not just holding here in frozen position. I'm playing pivot, pivot, pivot. Left hand, fingering is going to be different. Left hand's going to be five, four, two, one, two. Pivot on those notes. Now let's do this hands together. So we're going to be using different fingers between the hands. So five and one, four and two, two and three, one and five, two and three, four and two, one. Finally, part six. We're going to play the scale intervals with the tonic on the bottom. So just getting used to different distances between the notes. We're going to do a second, a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I want you to listen to those intervals too. See which ones are your favorite. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. 
left hand's gonna feel opposite because we have finger five on the bottom. Here we go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And that's it. You've completed your level four warm-up in the key of C major. I hope you found it helpful. I'm gonna do all 24 keys. So 12 major keys, 12 minor keys of this warm-up. So you'll be able to do it any place on the piano. Also, share this with people who might enjoy this style of teaching. You can even donate to my channel so I can allot more time to creating content like this. You can do that either directly through PayPal or you can do it directly through YouTube, through the YouTube Super Thanks. If you're looking at the video, you see share, save, then you see the three dots. Click on the three dots. You should see Super Thanks and that's a direct donation through YouTube. So. Thank you very, very much for watching, and please let me know where you are from in the comments. See you in the next video.